Okay, so today we are going to be using Screencastify to record our screen. Um, it is a, a Chrome extension and you can simply Google it like I did and go ahead and click on the link and you're going to be able to download it from here. I have it already so it says remove from Chrome but yours will say download or the like. So once you do that, you are going to have this little pink arrow and this pink arrow is how you're going to be accessing um, your Screencastify Chrome extension. And so let's say I want to record my students um, or for my students what they're supposed to be doing using this little sheet packet. It's something I created for my uh, lower grade science classes and so what you're going to be doing is or what I'm going to be doing first is clicking this pink arrow and these three little tabs show up. Browser tab, desktop, or webcam only. I'm going to be recording my desktop because that's where this material is on. And I'd like my microphone to be on and it's using my default microphone. You can tell it's working by the green coat going up and down. I will also be embedding my webcam using my FaceTime or whatever is um, already a default for your computer should, should pop up. You can also choose if you have multiple webcams. Now, once I hit record, you're going to see my face pop up right here in this corner. You're also going to see two other boxes pop up. I'm going to explain those right now. So, once, or actually, this is the box that pops up. This is very important. So, please click to share your screen. Click this little box. If you don't click it, you're not going to be able to share it. And as you can tell, I already have um, my face pop up here. Okay, so go ahead and click share. And you'll see you, I have my, my face here in the corner. I also have this little white box that allows me to stop sharing from this blue button. And it will stop the recording. I also have this gray box and it basically make, allows me to pause my recording. So I'm going to pause it right now because I don't need my students to know all that information. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I'm going to be recording. So what I need to do first is press this play button. As you can tell, it already started recording. So um, it starts right away. You hear it doot, 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 and it starts recording. And what I'm going to do is record and annotate. So um, I'm going to press play and I'm going to start recording. Hi kids, this is the science experiment paper that you're going to be filling out as you do the science experiment. Go ahead and look through this and for the procedures, I would like you, and I'm going to annotate using this pen feature, so I'm going to click the pen feature. I would like you kids to be able to number the procedures of how you followed the steps of the experiment. And I would like you to uh, write in full sentence and I can even write it out. And if I made a mistake, I can even erase it. And so I'm gonna stop the recording by clicking pause and then clicking this square that says end recording. I'm gonna go ahead and click end recording. And that's it. That's all I want to send to my students. It automatically uploads to Google Drive, which is great because you don't need to have extra files in your desktop or your download. So it goes straight to your drive and it allows you to copy by clicking this blue button and sending it to either your colleagues or your teacher or the parents that you'd like for them to see. You can also click share to classroom. And this is the video I recorded. I can also edit it by clicking if I want it to edit or edit it from here to there or you can edit it however you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and keep it like that. And you're going to share to I'm going to share it to classroom because I want it to go straight there. So I'm going to share to classroom and it's enabling a link sharing and a box pops up. I'd like you I have so automatically it's connected to my work email. And it says share to classroom. I'd like to send it to all my fourth grade students. I'm a STEM teacher, so I have many classes. Uh, so I'm going to click one class and make a material, or I can, um, yeah, I'm going to create a material and I'm going to press go. Here I'm going to retitle this page as um, teacher notes on 
science experiment packet, experiment packet. And here I can, in this box, I can click on all my fourth grade teachers and write a description if I'd like, and I can put it in the science packet or the science topic. I can post it right away if I have um, multiple classrooms or just one, but if I'm only doing one class, you can even schedule it for a day out. If you have multiple classrooms this is being sent out to, it will only post it or save the draft. Now, I'm not going to be posting it because that is a real classroom, but that's one thing that you can do here. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out. Another thing you can do here is download it to your computer and use it however you wish. Um, you can, uh, I don't know why you would need to do this, but you can do that. Another thing is publish to YouTube. I created my teacher YouTube just for my classrooms so I can upload videos like this to my class, uh, to my, for my students. So I'm going to go ahead and publish to YouTube. And already I have a YouTube channel connected. And what you need to do is first go to YouTube and make sure your channel is activated with your work email. And then you would simply uh, click my, I'm gonna use my channel and I can have it private at first if I'd like to first review it and or public right away or unlisted. This is an option if you want to email out the YouTube video without it being public, without people being able to search it and find it. If it's public, everybody can search it and everybody can find it. If it's private, only you can view it. So I'm going to go ahead and make it public. So all my whoever logs on to my channel, with, let's say the parents, administrators, they can find it there. And then I'm going to click upload, but I'm not going to do that today because I don't want this to go up there. And then once that's ready, the video will be ready and rolling. I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.